Yale University is now the first school to officially rescind the admission of a student linked to the college admission scandal. Uh, this comes as Yale and several other major universities are still dealing with the fallout. Prosecutors have arrested 50 people, including 33 wealthy parents and celebrities. They were accused of carrying out a scheme to cheat on standardized tests and or bribe college coaches to gain admission to elite schools. This Yale announcement comes as we learn that the daughters of actress Lori Laughlin, who's been charged in the case, are still enrolled at the University of Southern California. CNN's Bryn Gingras is with me now. And so, Bryn, on this whole Yale story, how much money did the parents of that student pay to get in? Yeah, Brooke, prosecutors say that parent paid $1.2 million to get their daughter into Yale wow. um, through the women's soccer team, even though she never played soccer. Now, the person who helped facilitate that admission, according to prosecutors, is Rudy Meredith. He's the former Yale uh, women's soccer coach. He was there for 20 years as a coach of that team uh, before resigning and then now formally charged. Um, we're learning, you know, of course, Rudy, Rudy Meredith, we know, uh, was cooperating with authorities. He was one of the first people to begin cooperating with authorities in this case. And his cooperation agreement, the details of that, were recently unsealed. Now, let's remember, he's pleading guilty to two felony charges. He was facing some serious jail time, up to 20 years. And in return for his continued cooperation in this case, uh, he is going to likely see less jail time. And we also know he's going to have to pay back $860. $65,000, and that's the amount of money that he made uh, off of these uh, deals that he struck with William Singer, the central figure uh, to this whole college admissions scheme. So a little bit more detail coming out. Rudy's going to be in court on Thursday, um, and we shall learn more about his particular um, deal with the government. But more people, mostly parents, will be in court on Friday for, this court, for their first court appearances in many cases, um, getting in front of a judge for the first time. So this case ongoing. I want to also add that we're learning from sources that more arrests could be coming. We're hearing uh, five to ten more arrests could be coming in the next month or so, and we're hearing they're likely going to be of students or parents. It doesn't seem like any schools will be associated uh, with this case as it continues in the investigation. Brooklyn. Okay, as you keep your ear to the ground on those, those arrests, I did want to follow up with you on, do we know how much, do, what, what more do we know about why actress Lori Laughlin's uh, daughters are, are still enrolled at USC? Well, we just know it's ongoing. At this point, USC says it's determining each case uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, looking into each student who could have been affiliated uh, with this scheme. USC, we know, did see the most people enrolled as part of this scheme, or at least trying to get enrolled. Uh, so they're still monitoring their whole situation there at USC. And as we know, uh, as you've reported, uh, they are still there. It's unclear what their future holds there with that university, though. All right. Bryn Gingras in Boston. Thank you, Bryn, very much.